This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says a rectangular gas tank is filled at the rate of 240 cubic inches per minute. If the tank is 10 inches long, 8 inches wide, and 12 inches high, how many minutes will it take to fill the tank? So the first thing we have to do is find the volume of this rectangular gas tank. And of course, you can see that it is in the shape of a rectangular prism. How do you find the volume of a rectangular prism? It's length times width times height. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you do have to commit some of these basic formulas, including how to find the volume of a prism uh, to memory at some point. So let's go ahead and find the volume of this rectangular gas tank. Uh, we know it has a length of 10, a width of 8, and a height of 12. Again, I'm going to take the easy way on this one. I'm going to do uh, 10 times 12, which is 120. So this becomes 120 times 8. And if you can't do this part mentally, do it off to the side. We have 120 times 8. 0 times 8 is 0. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, carry a 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So the volume of our rectangular gas tank is 960 cubic inches. Again, we have a gas tank that has a volume of 960 cubic inches. We know we can fill it at a rate of 240 cubic inches per minute. So to determine how many minutes it's going to take to fill this gas tank, uh, we're going to do 960 divided by 240. So we can cross out these corresponding units as well as these corresponding zeros. And that's going to leave us with 96 divided by 24. Based on our answer choices, I'm going to say that 24 goes into 96 evenly. And again, we could do this as 96 divided by 24. What times 24 will get me 96? So I'm going to say it's going to be either 4 or 5 times. I'm going to start with 4. What is 24 times 4? 4 times 4 is 16, carry a 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 24 times 4 is exactly 96 with no remainder. So in other words, it's going to take B four minutes to fill this gas tank.